for the lab portion of the copying files with X modem lesson. Uh, you may hear in the background a fan running that is a 2610XM chugging away. I'm connected to the console port of said device via secure CRT and we can see that here I can verify that with a show version and right here we can see it's a 2610 and in secure CRT you can see the options for your session by going to you won't be able to see this because it's outside the recording range the options menu and then click session options and you can see here I'm using port com port 1 baud rate is 9600 which as we said was the normal default for Cisco devices data bits is 8 you shouldn't have to mess with that parity is none you shouldn't have to mess with that just if you're setting this up from scratch make sure that you set these up this way stop bits uh, as we saw they're actually using two stop bits on this device doesn't seem to matter I've always used one go your own way on that if you want flow control I could probably turn off I just left the default since this is working I don't deal with the serial break length these are the normal serial line options that you want to have set and and you see later we'll we will change these so let's get to this let's get into configuration mode and the first thing we're gonna do now well, let's do this from here do show line console zero glue bod um, if the do is throwing you off if you add do to your exec level statements while you're in config mode it will execute them so we can see here the bod rate is 9600 no parity two bit stops eight data bits back up one more time good enough <laughs> see all right quit fucking around anyways com port 1 9600 that's our baud rate 8 data bits right there uh parity none stop bits i've already told you that this is kind of screwy but we're good to go with one so without further ado let's go under the console line we get to that point by line console 0 hit enter and now we're going to change the speed and uh, iOS help tells me that I can set this all the way up to this big ass number from the um, slide portion you know that there's only going to be certain speeds that are available and we're going to play with the one that we will use quite a bit and this 115,200 is the basically the highest speed that I can get on this particular router and it's the one that matches that will match up with my terminal emulator but what I want to show you here is as soon as you change the speed this is the line that we're connected to we're on the console line so as soon as we change the speed on this we are gonna lose connectivity and you should be aware of this and that's why you really don't want to set some obscure you know speed here if you set this to one five one I hate saying the numbers long form 115,211 you're not gonna be able to match that on the other side because there is no option for that speed and you will be locked out of the device so let's go ahead and hit enter and we've still got a flashing cursor but look I am not connected to this I've actually been kicked off it, at this point in order to recover connectivity to this console port I can do one of two things I can reload the router when I reload the router it'll bring up the uh, startup configuration since we did not write this speed we will be back to 9600 baud and we will be good to go or what I could do is change the speed on my side and that's what we're going to do secure CRT you actually have to disconnect first so I just right clicked on the tab hit disconnect yes I want to disconnect and you can see that this has turned from green to red okay and I am going to scrunch this down so that this is in, re in the recorded area uh, so you can see the menu options up here so at this point we're disconnected and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and change our serial options so we go up to the options menu session options and now we see that same pop-up box but we can see that we can actually change things here if the stuff isn't grayed out so you could change your com port holy balls 30 com ports <laughs> all right usually you're going to use com port one uh, this could depend on what's going on on your particular computer and baud rate We'll get back to that in just a second because that's what we're actually going to change. Data bits, there's really not many options, so go with 8. You're going to want to stay with 8 anyways. This gen Data bits and parity, you really don't have to mess with. Just keep it to none. Uh, stop bits, like I said, we could probably set this to 2. I don't want to mess with the uh, mojo that works for me. Flow control, I think you could just turn off completely if you want to. Again, we don't need to because we know this is working. Serial break length, not even sure what that is. I'm not going to mess with that. Anywho, we're here to change the baud rate. So you can see you have certain steps that go from 110 baud up to 921,600 baud. And what we had set on the console line was 115,200. So let's do the same thing here and click OK. 
And now let's go back to our secure CRT. I mean, I could right click and hit reconnect, but I think I could just hit enter and that will, and booyah. So now, it's returned us to the router and we're still in config mode. Let's go ahead and break out of there. Did a control Z. And what I want to show you here, unfortunately, in this case, it blows away my previous history. But if I do a show line VTY, not VTY, con zero, I bod, not boss, it's not an interesting combination of Bauhaus. You can see here that we have changed this to 115, 200. So right now we have it set at the pretty much the highest max speed. I'm pretty sure this is the highest max speed that we can do for this device. And as we saw in the slides, this makes a ton of difference. We saw that it was 10 times faster with this speed moving over that file than it was with the um, 9600 baud, which is the default. So let's have a little fun here and get back into config T mode. Go back to our line console zero and our speed. And if you want to change those stop bits, you can better off doing it on your, your terminal emulator, but if you wanted to on the um, device itself, I think it's stop bits. You can see we have the same options on this side that we did on our terminal emulator of 1, 1 1.5, and 2. I'm not going to mess with it. So what I want to do here was let's set this to, I just want to see what my options are. So from here I could go to quick connect, which is your second icon, and then choose serial and that'll bring up that same. This is if we were going to make a new connection. I just want to see what my baud rate options are. So looks like 230400 would be my next option. So I'm just going to cancel this. And again, when I hit enter, I'm going to lose connectivity. Oh, actually, it's not going to let me do that. Did I not give it a correct 400? Oh, interesting. OK, let's try 380400. Okay, so we have topped out on speed, so that's nice. Uh, I was going to show you that if I put a speed that was higher than this uh, 115,200, I would, while I would be able to match it on the other side, I would not be able to um, connect because this router does not support that speed. But iOS, it looks like, is smart enough that it's not going to let me set it to a speed that it does not support. I wonder if that will work for odd. God, I don't want to do this, but well, screw it. We're in a lab. Let's say if we went for 9,630, which I can't match on the other side, will it? OK, perfect. So it doesn't show you the steps. It would have been nice if it had a little drop down list of what was actually valid. But you can't actually set this to a uh, speed that can't be matched on the other side. So it'll let me change it to 9,600. I'm sure that if I wanted to, I could probably change it to any of the speed increments between, well, God, 110 and uh, its top speed here. So I could probably set it to 5, 7, 600, 3, 8, 400, all that garbage. But that's nice. I didn't know that. Um, so really, it helps you to not screw yourself over here. OK, enough of this jibba jab about these speeds. I have broken out of the configuration mode. Just to make sure, yeah, we're running at 115,200 baud. Uh, I'm going to write it. This is up to you. The upside of writing it is, you know, if your if your router has to reload during this process, you maintain this baud speed. Because if you don't, right now it'll go into the startup configuration, and it will revert back to 9600 baud. But you probably, when you're done with everything, want to set this back to the default so that the next engineer isn't trying to guess what the uh, baud speed is on this. But again, I'm going to write it. It's up to you whether you want to do the same. OK, so now let's do a show for, and let's take a look at the iOS version. And we're running 12.2.8. And we can see the actual image right here under the system image file. Oops, come on, let me highlight right there. So that's the image that we're using currently. And we're going to actually upgrade this via uh, XBORM. So let's get into the nuts and bolts.